Hi everyone, Tim Vipond here. I'm excited to walk you through this Excel dashboard. We are gonna build this together, this beautiful output, and we're gonna jump into Excel and start creating it together from scratch. Let's get going. So here we are in Excel, and you can see what we're gonna build. Let's go to View, Page Break Preview, and you can see here what's outlined in blue, the part that we're gonna to create together. It's blank, so we'll build everything step by step. All the information that we need is on the right here, all this financial information. We can now go back to a normal view, and let's start building this together. The first thing we're gonna do is put a company description, or it could be a situation overview, but essentially a nice section of text right here, and then we're gonna build a pie chart breaking down revenue to the right of it. So let's go to insert, text box, and just draw the rough shape of the text box. Now, in order to spare you from watching me type this out, I'm just gonna go copy and then paste it back here, but you put in whatever description you want. All right, so I just pasted this in. It's inside the text box, as you can see, so I can move this around or resize it or what have you. The next thing I'm gonna do is create a pie chart in the top right corner. The reason I'm gonna do that is as part of a company overview, I think giving a breakdown of revenue sources is quite helpful. So what I'm gonna do is select these different components of revenue. You can see these four sources of revenue. Then I'm gonna to go to insert, and I'm gonna select a pie chart. Put it up in the corner, resize it, roughly speaking here. And then I'm gonna make sure that uh, we do the right formatting here. So I'm gonna format the chart area. There's gonna be no fill and no line. Then when I click on the actual data inside of it, I want to have uh, no border between the colors. I like that best. Then I'm gonna click into the first major color, solid fill. I will choose one of my predefined colors. Second, third, and fourth. So we can see these four components of revenue here. We can delete the chart title because we um, can just type it up above, but for now, we're just gonna put this down in the corner here. And if we right click, Excuse me, if we right, right click, format chart area, pardon me, right click, select data. What we can do here is select the names of these categories, and that automatically fills in the legend for us. So that's a nice way to quickly build the legend. Let's make sure there's no line here between any of these sections, good. That's looking nice now. Uh, you may want to insert a title and you could do it two ways. One is you could just type it or you could just add a chart element. So if we go to chart design, add chart element, and then we want to have a title, chart title. Um, revenue by segment. So a segmented revenue chart is kind of a nice thing to do here. Let's change it to be black font like most of the other stuff we're dealing with here and change it to be a little bit smaller so it matches the rest of the stuff a bit better. Now I'm gonna to try to increase the size of the actual pie itself. And you notice that you, there's a bit of finessing required here to get the exact size that you want, the exact layout that you want, but that's roughly a pretty good first crack at adding that revenue by segment. All right, next up, we are gonna add a stock price chart right here. And I'm gonna show you a very cool way to do this quickly. Let's suppose you've got this Excel model or file that already has things you've built, like you've already built this stock chart and you wanna bring it over here and you wanna do it in the quickest way possible. So let's take a look at how to do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Options, Customize Ribbon, then go to all commands and they're alphabetical here. We want camera. So scroll down to camera. Where 
is it? There it is. Let's add this. Okay, we'll go to home, new group, add, and then camera. Press OK. Now you can see the camera function here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in the cell that we want, then go to camera. Now what we want to do is go over to the chart section, select the area around this chart, click camera, then go back to our dashboard and click in the, in the area that we want it. We can then drag it and move it around. If we right click on it, we can format it and let's not have a line around it so it matches the rest of our stuff. Now, what is super interesting about this is that if I go over to the chart and I make a change to it, it is absolutely dynamic and not static. So if I change this to be green, go back to the dashboard and it's green. So it's live linked, which is awesome. Let's just undo that with control Z. Okay. So the reason this is great is because you could go around your Excel file, adding sections to this dashboard quite quickly using the camera function. So I hope you found that interesting and cool to see. Uh, next up, we have a football field chart that we're going to create. And we're going to create that using a uh, stacked bar chart. So let's look at this section here, which is where we have the information that we need. And let's go to insert. Here you can see we have a stacked bar. Okay, let's get ready to link it up. So right click on it. Select data, add the first series, which is going to be low, and we select the low values. I'll explain what this all means after, but just stick with me to quickly build this here. Low delta, which means the change, and we select that. Then we add, again, high, select the values for high, add, uh, actually don't add average just yet cancel that part. We will select these labels, press OK, and that gets us started. And what we want to do then is make the first data series invisible. No fill, no line. So look at that. Now we've got some floating information, if you will. And this is going to be how we form the basis of a football field chart. Next, we do the same thing on the high end of things, format that Let's have no fill and no line. So these are the values that we actually want to display here. And then what we can do is format the axis so that uh, it has it takes up more space. So let's maybe make it to 10,000 instead of 16,000. Or even let's try eight. There we go, that's looking pretty good. All right, let's keep formatting here. Imagine we want to um, make these few first few categories a certain color and then we want to emphasize or so we want to emphasize these ones but de-emphasize the last two so we'll make these three a certain color and then the last two we could just de-emphasize a bit by making them gray all right and then the last thing that we're going to do is add um, an average and a current price to this okay so Let's delete the title here. In order to do that, this part gets a little bit more complicated because we want it to be dynamically linked. We are going to select data, add another one, which is going to be a um, average. Select the first two values. Just bear with me on this. Then we right click, change series chart type. We want a combo. And what we want is, so we want stacked bar for the first three. And then the last one, 
we want to be a scatter. Let's go to scatter. Where is scatter? Scatter plot. And there's a concept of a straight line. Sc scatter with straight line. Oh, right click. What happened there? Let's go. Um, Okay, there we go. Now what we need to do is put this on the secondary axis. All right, so we've got this chart here with these range of values. Let's resize it a bit. Let's also right click from that chart area. Let's have no border on that. And let's add data labels. Format data labels. Let's put them at the inside end. Let's add data labels here. Let's put them at the inside end. Let's add this add data labels here for these ones and format them to be at the inside base. We can actually delete the data labels for the, the middle ones. And now we have the values for the ranges. So let's just take a look at this one, discounted cash flow value. You can see by eyeballing the chart that this is the low end of the range and that this is the high end of the range. So it's a little bit of a workaround to create this football field chart, but it's a pretty cool chart for showing ranges of values for things. You could add an average or current price line to this, a vertical line. You could do it manually by just drawing it in, or there's a dynamic way to link it up, which we cover in our course at CFI. But for now, this is a great setup. Let's move on next to look at total revenue over time. And let's do a stacked column. So let's select data here. If we scroll up, we're going to add first. Oops, this is not the name of it. The name is online stores and then the values are here. Then we're going to add retail services then we're going to add subscription services and lastly we're going to add physical stores okay next up we want to add total revenue by segment. And in order to do that, we're going to select all this segmented revenue, revenue here, insert. What we want to do is a stacked column, bring it over into place. Let's resize it. Our usual formatting things here, delete the title because we already have a title. We can delete the grid lines. Uh, we can do some color formatting here. If we right click format data series, Let's make this proper corporate colors. So follow your corporate color guidelines, of course. I'm just following CFI color standards here. Okay, great. And if we format the data series, we can also bring that gap width down, make them nice and wide, which I prefer. Uh, we can also select here the access labels. Okay. We can then give these series names online. 
retail, physical, oh, sorry, subscription, and then physical. Press OK. All right, great, we've got all that. So we can see that stacking up nicely here. Let's also get rid of the border, right click, format, no border line, right? That looks much cleaner now. All right, now the finishing touch is gonna to be to add the year over year growth rates on top. In order to do that, what we're gonna to have to do is select data. We're gonna add one more series, which is revenue growth. We are going to select those values. Then when we go back to the chart, press OK. Well, sorry, what we're gonna do is right click, change chart type to be combo. We want all of those to be stacked columns and then we want the last one to be line, but importantly, we want it to be on the secondary axis. When we put it on the secondary axis, uh, what we do is we can actually see it displayed here. And then what we can do is change this. Number, let's change it to percentage. Let's change the scale so that the maximum is 100%. That helps compress it down a bit. We can format this. Maybe we want to make it um, a darker gray, but like a dashed line would be nice. So we can make it a little less thick, make it dashed. And then we can also add data labels right click on the data labels, format them, let's put them above. Okay, so now we can see the year over year growth rates, which is quite nice to see. Now we formatted this to be orange in case these were gonna be orange. So actually, why don't we just go ahead and follow that style guideline that we set out and make this orange, okay? Perfect. We might even bold those so they're they're very easy to see, they're very visible. So now you can see the revenue breakdown by category and the total year over year growth rate. All right, last up, but definitely not least, let's add this information here, this financial information for EBITDA, free cash flow, and net income. Let's insert. This time we're gonna go with a uh, dotted line chart. Resize that, format chart area, no line. Okay, now let's add labels. Oh, pardon me, that's gonna be the year across here. And these are gonna be the series names, EBITDA. Oops, let's remove that. Um, EBITDA, free cash flow, and net income. Okay, let's follow our brand colors. Good. We can delete the chart title. Let's scroll over and take a look. Now, if we go to view, page break preview, we can just make sure everything's in exactly the right spot. And look at that. In a very short amount of time, we have built a beautiful dashboard that gives us a lot of information about a company, is appealing to look at, gives takeaways, and was quick to make in Excel. So thank you so much for joining me for this dashboard tutorial. Please download the file and try it on your own and check out more from us at CFI. Thank you.